called press and peel paper. And what has been done here is I've taken the circuitry and put it in a package called Eagle Board Layout Editor and printed it with a laser printer to this emulsion paper. Drawings or board layouts. Okay, so here's one. The idea is to take this diagram and place it on some of this copper clad circuit board material. So we're going to cut an area out of this larger piece of to copper. Cut the clad. copper clad material, we're going to use a coping saw. This is actually a jeweler's saw, so it's got a very fine blade on it. Making some progress. It's really a touchy thing getting your groove going here. All right. There we have it. So here's our emulsion paper, the press and peel, and here's our copper clad PCB material. So we want to somehow get this onto here. So let's get this surface cleaned up before we begin. I've got some very fine steel wool here, and I'm going to just shine up the surface of this to get rid of any remaining oxidation. Um, or markings that I might have. So the copper's been cleaned up with the steel wool. We have our board layout on our peel and press material. So the next step is to transfer the image from here onto the board. So to do that, since the material is called peel and press, you're probably not surprised if, to learn that we're going to use an iron to press it onto the copper and I've got it set at about polyester. The idea is to get the temperature of the iron somewhere between 275 degrees and 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to put a piece of paper over the top of the board and the copper clad and then I'm going to press down on it with the iron. The paper gives it a little bit less friction. Now, here's the part where we're actually doing the transfer. And the idea is to get the temperature of the copper up to about the temperature of the iron. So it'll take a little bit of time to do this. Do not use the steam setting on the iron. Let's check this. I think we're just about there. Next step is called quenching. We're going to put the material under cold water. And then we peel it off. And here's the beginning of a PCB. Okay, so the next part we're going to be drilling holes into the material with this Dremel bit. It's a 60, 63 or a 57. It's a very small drill bit. difficult for the drill bit to find the uh, 
area that you want to drill. So by using a punch like this, we can give it a little hint. So let's see if we're any faster with these punch hints. I think that's all of them. So the next part is the etching part. This is where we're going to place our copper into a solution of ferric chloride, which is a very corrosive uh, substance. And to protect myself, I've got some goggles and some rubber gloves. So the ferric chloride apparently works a little bit better if it's in a warm solution. So I've got a porcelain bowl sitting in a pool of water on top of a frying pan on my stove. So I'm going to pour ferric chloride some of the into the bowl. So now let's place the PCB into the ferric chloride for etching. So we'll leave that in there. We'll agitate it a little bit by rocking it. Let's see how it's going. Okay, it looks pretty decently done. So let's rinse it off. Let's see what we have. Looking pretty good. So now we just have to use some steel wool and get the etchant off the PCB. So let's have a shot at that. So start cleaning this. You can see it exposes the copper, which is our circuitry. So we have our printed circuit board, and we have some of our components here. And uh, let's see how much easier it will be to install these instead of uh, what we had when we were using this prototype board. So we can look, we just turn it over so the circuitry will be on the bottom, and the components will be on the top. That goes in there nicely. Put this uh, relay in there, also nice. And how about these uh, six pins connectors? Very nice. So you can see, like, it's very easy to get them in there now. Uh, and all we need to do is solder these connections on the back of the board and then we can test it out. Okay, we have all of our components, or at least a lot of them, on our custom PCB printed circuit so now board. All we need to do is solder some of these onto the back of our custom printed circuit board. Some of these diodes have very long contacts. We're gonna trim them a it bit. It's a lot more heat to, to heat up the those long stems. Good. Okay, so take a little bit of time. Great, so we've soldered a number of these pins and we have some trails that need to be modified. 